he is going to be rewarded for that tenacity because Game & Watch coming up against Ram and his Snake. And Game & Watch Snake has been known to be uh, pretty problematic for Snake. Yeah. Oh, just in so many facets. Yeah, yeah, that can be uh, quite an issue. You can dodge so many things. You can maybe have some things to do with the buckets. You can be really defensive on situations. So let's see about that. We are on small battlefield. We didn't see that much, that much today. But for now, he can do so much with the platforms. We can have some good mix up with the bounces of the grenades. You can be upwards. The two of them will play a lot of the in the air because of the two of these. So that's a different style and a different approach you have from a snake. So let's see what we can find there. The juggling is working now for Kazi and Ram is just trying to get his things together on the ground. Not working that much though. All of the damages were just because of the nades and the defensive options. I think it's so, so funny, oh. like how disciplined Ram is being with his grenades. Like just, mm. it's really good and very funny to watch Snake not pull grenade ever. Um, but it's correct, right? You're never trying to give uh, give a free bucket to Ozzy and let him instantly kill you at potentially 20. So you just play with Snake's boxing options, you play with C4, and you try and make sure that you are as selective as possible when going for your big damage plays, because you don't need all that much damage to close out uh, Game & Watch with one of those up tilts. That was the weak hit, by the way, you know. Weak yeah, that was the weak hit. Yeah, that's that's what's in for you, Regain. That's the weak point. But because it is one of the top 10 and top 5, if I remember correctly, lightest character of the game, well, you just need to accept this and uh, move on. Okay, I have some explosives too, and that forward air will make you in uh, some recordings of your wars, my little snake, because you just got this explosion right in your face, and we are in a resetting situation. The rhythm is strange, though. Absolutely, especially seeing Kazi like uh, forego a juggle in favor of trying to find like a, another judge right there. Like just, it's not the same type of snake you're seeing, right? Like it's just mm -hmm. you, you're forced to be seeing a completely different like dash dance oriented snake that plays at a super close range and like centering around C4 and occasionally a grenade pull, but almost exclusively when it hits done. It's just different. It's so different. Yeah, yeah, the style is like a bit, we, yeah, because he can he can use a much of his projectiles. He knows that's a risk, and yeah, he's trying to get maybe some situations in mid range. He's trying to get the dash attack. He's trying to get the down tail. We saw that previously. The forward there is uh, really, really good from Kazi. I think in a defensive way because he just needs to yeah, okay, you're getting hit. Yeah, I know you're on your shield. You're trying to get some approaches, and I'm just here to destroy that kind of changing style. And if you're not used to it, maybe I can get in. And for now, we have this game in watch just trying to get the control of the stage the sausage are on the wrong way my friend and that's not on the good context here good kill on the forward yeah that's a big one for sure when it comes to uh, snakes advantages in, or uh, values in a matchup like this like yeah you can't use like one of your biggest and best moves uh, period but Game & Watch, at the very least, does have a really bad uh, lie-down animation, so down, to, down throw into forward tilt does start working, and it and is a true combo. Yeah, okay, we have some juggling here. Good nair, good mo good uh, conversion, good mix-up, sorry. And now with the RB just trying to get back on the, on the ground, and he is late. And being late against the snake, we know for sure that that's an issue. Getting the C4 here, we can maybe find some juggle with the upper, just making some cover, just to send a message. And Kazi is like trying everything he can in the down smash here with the pressure on the shield. Maybe getting a shit poke will make the difference, but we're on 62, he has to take risks. Kazi goes, it has to go kamikaze here. I mean, you can also start to look out for maybe another one of these like C4 plants or an edge guard. Uh, any, there's so many win conditions available here for Kazi, including but not limited to that ju uh, that judge. Probably getting the second best one you could ever ask for, which was the apples. G even just two apples healing so much when, uh, for Game & Watch. Which, as we saw, like up to can close out stocks at close to 80, so that extra 20% it can certainly matter. And it absolutely did the up to landing, and he just barely survived. It was also almost a kill at 80. That's why his character is uh, like, I I'm convinced it is his up smash, and they just messed up in the coding. Like, look at this. Like, everything goes well here. We have 
six frame. We have the range, we have the kill power. It is such a good move. And here the whiff will be that good punished, that well punished from Ram. Kazi is in a tight spot because once again, he's top 32 winners. For sure. Uh, so you know how, um, you know the, like, the infamy of that up tilt, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the reason why it's so big. And well, in Ultimate now, it's because it was in Brawl. But in Brawl, the up tilt was A, even bigger, because Snake's standing like character model was bigger. But oh. when they reduced the character model size to be more in line with the rest of the cast, they never reduced his hitboxes. So it was just massive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they had to think about it during the entire of Smash 4. I understand, I understand. <laughs> That's, that's why they, they, they put it a lot of work here. Okay, so a lot of work here. Tried uh, once again from Kazi here with the bombs, once again in vertical situations on the red zone to get some heal, some, some damages. We're on a 65 to 65. Who can make the difference here? The down tilt on the mid range is getting once again Kazi on just trying to get some approaches. Is dash attack here will try to make the difference? But for now, with this small stage and which is, if I'm sure, one of the biggest and best stages of Snake, he needs to be careful. Yeah, it's, it's looking good on the when it comes to just the even overall total. I would uh, for a damage, but I would like to see Kazi com uh, acknowledge some of the disadvantage options that Ram has. He's not pulling grenades. We already know yeah. that. We've been talking about it all set. Not but, even trying the Nikita, though. Yeah, he's not trying the Nikita. He's only really going for C4 in disadvantage, like a B reverse C4. That's his one mix-up, that and fastball air dodge. So I want to see Kazi start to try and cover that a little bit more. If you know you're a potential when landing, he's changing out all of his other potential mix-ups for exactly two, like play the coin flip. You've got the coverage, you've got the airspeed to do so. Meanwhile, Ram, of course, has that up tilt, and he does take the first stop. Yeah, when I saw when I saw the guy going with the parachute, I think he saw, he know that he was dead. He was just looking at the guy, just just muscular veteran looking at him, and I'm like, nah, that would be a ranger on your face, bro. 150, full rage, maybe he can capitalize on thought. What the? Oh my god. He... Okay, well, the cypher just abandoned the snake on the worst moment. Yes. Technology can be sometimes a little tricky, huh? Yeah. Oh, finally a grenade pull there. Makes sense though. Those are the times when you absolutely need it. When you want to see, when you expect Kazi to be approaching you with, uh, when you with some kind of like Nair or something. Still, the damage speaks for itself. Game & Watch is just able to dominate so, so much and turn any sort of juggle into so much damage, yet no dice and we're at kill percent. <laughs> Mm -mm, that's one of the best, biggest issue for the next uh, interactions. 48. Oh, the down smash here to try to get the two frame. That could be smart, but no. Once again, he did very hard with the recovery from the uh, game and watch to get these sweet, sweet two frames. Let's see on the platform the air dodge on sideways is quite laggy, and the up B will finally get some catch here with the back air. Good trade. Yeah, absolutely. And amazing spacing and just flat out call out on the part of Ram, expecting Kazi to go high with that. Uh with that high back air, and it worked out exactly as you draw it up for Ram. Once again, able to establish a lead and establish a little bit of damage on that too with the down air out of shield, 44% with a ton of rage and no means to approach whatsoever. Now we have uh, once again, once again the spacing. Like we saw that with the back, but we are so we are seeing that now with the downs. He's trying everything just to get the guy out of range, and he needs it. He needs it. That's why he is trying to capitalize a lot of a smash because it is such a small stage to get air dodge here to get back on the ledge. And now he will get punished with finally some big old chair in his face. Uh, he has to be careful because once again you are saying that uh, we have a good damage pull from the from the gaming watch, so he has to open his eye. For sure, I, almost, I wanna see that extra push though, right? Like the guaranteed damage, absolutely there. And okay. it's been looking really good. These Nair is gonna mean so, so much, especially getting into a juggle, find another Nair, so much instant 70. Edge guard, like you have a snake going low, you have these opportunities mm. to cover, like you just need to see Potty commit a little bit more but the fastfall air dodge does get him, uh, does get Ram down to the ground in yeah. enough time for that frame six, frame six up tilt to close out 
game number two. Yeah, he tried the down smash here, so it was too late because of the falling. Maybe he was expecting him to be on the platform and play safe, but nope, my friend. That will be a big old shoes right in your face, and you'll have to get inside losers for the qualifiers top 32. That was a good call. That was a, like a really, really good call from uh, from Ram here because, you know, the guys was pressured. He was trying maybe to get something just to be maybe a little more cheesy, get, getting find, find some bury. But no, once again, the capitalization on the um, on the small and the mid range from the snake was like so good, uh, it was quite complicated. And we I, I, we the whole game was like Kazi, uh, uh, like getting stronger on situations where he is trying to punish the approaches of Snake. And every time he was like in close quarters, it was not for him. So yeah, that, that was a gamble. That was a gamble, and the gamble will not be in favor. Not at all. And no. Like, I mean, it just goes to show, right, like, even in a game, like, a game like Smash Ultimate is just so, so balanced and so, so uh, flexible in its character pool and knowledge pool uh, that even even matchups like Game & Watch Snake, which is not his worst, his second worst, you can play it right and you can overcome it. And Ram absolutely played it as best as he could. There was no grenades except when yeah, absolutely necessary. with a good change of plans, yeah. For sure, like just adjust your game plan and you can still overcome any matchup that you see fit, barring like a few, like there are some that are just real bad, but none for Snake, Snake can do it all.